This is Koga, a former Japanese policeman born and raised in Japan. And this is Jenny, a Malawian medical doctor living on the opposite side of the planet in Malawi, Africa. The two met in Jenny's hometown of Mbepa, Malawi nine years ago and have since had a love story straight out of a fairy tale that millions of viewers from around the world has been following. Today, I got to speak to them in person in their new home in Japan along with their two sons, Leon and George. I got to ask them a bunch of questions from how they got to know each other, their new life in Japan with their beautiful family, and their experience of having an international marriage in Japan. Can we quickly get an introduction from you guys? My name is Jennifer from Malawi. Malawi. My name is Leon. I'm from Malawi. My name is Koga. I'm from Japan. And and this is? This is George. <laughs> baby George. Baby George? So was baby George born in Malawi or in Japan? In Malawi. Yeah. Last year. Last year. November. So first, I wanted to ask, how did you guys meet in the first place? We met in 2015 in Malawi. I was Japanese volunteer mm. uh, working as juvenile uh, reformatory school in Malawi. Then I live in compound inside the facility then Jenny moved to my neighbors then we met what was like your first impression when you guys first met I met her for the first time mm -hmm. I fell in love wow. <laughs> yeah what drew you into Jenny for the first time I met her I greet her uh, with her house she was raising four kids I gave up at right. first but uh, after six months, I found she's a single mother, three of kids of four. Three of them are her late sister's kids. Oh, I then see. Then, remaining ones, her child, Rian. So, Jenny, what drew you into uh, Mr. Koga? At first, I could see him just like a random foreigner in Malawi. A random foreigner in <laughs> Malawi. Yeah, but then, I was just impressed with the way he was interacting with people. Mm. Uh, he was very uh, humble person, right. very kind to people. Right. Yeah, that drew me closer to him. Why Japan? Why come to Japan when you guys were living in Malawi, right? 2021, mm. December, mm. I decided to move to Malawi. Right after I go back to Malawi, I get married to her. Mm. I proposed at the airport. You proposed her at the <laughs> airport? <laughs> How did you feel when <laughs> you proposed at the airport? I had no idea at first. Okay. Yeah, I was <laughs> speechless. <laughs> uh, I thought I was dreaming, kind of. Uh, right. mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, we are supposed to keep living in Malawi. Mm. I was supposed to have my own restaurant in Malawi. Okay. However, difficult is financially. Mm. So we decided to go back to Japan and keep capital for the future. We start living in Japan from mm. April this year. How do you guys like Japan so far? So far, so good. Have you faced any like problems, any challenges? <laughs> Not really. Do you speak Japanese? <laughs> <laughs> Greetings. Greetings. <laughs> yeah. no, everything is new, right? <laughs> Yesterday, she was struggling to use uh, vacuum cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything is new. There's right. so much technology in Japan. So I guess you're, right now you're just getting used to all the new yeah. technology yes. and getting accustomed to the life here. Mm. First of all, how old are you right now? I'm nine. Like, which one do you prefer more, Malawi or Japan? I feel comfortable all the countries. All the countries. <laughs> go, go, go. Ooh. What do you like about uh, Japanese school? Studies. Study? Were you able to make friends? Mm, okay. A lot of friends. Do you speak Japanese? Mm, a little bit. A little bit? Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Yonensei. Yonensei? Oh, so you've only been here for like two months? Mm. And you already know Japanese? I was learning in Malawi. Well, what do you like most about Japan? I love the food. I like to eat uh -huh. ramen and crepe. <laughs> ramen and crepe? If you ever come visit Tokyo, we can get you a lot of crepe and ramen. So yeah, just let me know when you come to Tokyo. <laughs> Are your friends all Japanese or do you have any friends from other country? Oh, uh, Japanese. Are they nice? Uh, at Japanese school, I have one friend. What's his name? I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember? Is it easy to make friends in Japan? Is it a little bit hard? It's hard? How was it like living in like Malawi? Was it like pretty challenging for you or? The food. There is a Sima, the staple food in Malawi. I couldn't eat much, but uh, yeah. as I stay in Malawi, I become like Sima. Now <laughs> it's my favorite. Oh, it's your favorite food now. Yeah. <laughs> so how did your family and your friends react uh, about you guys getting into an international marriage? Yeah, for me, I stay in the rural area mm -hmm. uh, in Japan. Right. 
so it's not common interracial marriage. Mm. So they are surprised, but uh, my parents, they are always understand me okay. from the, uh, my childhood. My parents uh, and relatives welcome Jenny and Leon. No problem. Okay. okay. So they're very supportive. Mm. Okay. okay. Supportive. How about you, Jenny? How did your family and your friends, how did they react? <laughs> they were surprised. Right. Yeah. Um, some of them were scared. Okay. Mm. But when they met Mr. Koka mm. and saw how uh, the kind of person he is, right. yeah, they were supportive. Have you guys faced any like stereotypes or have you guys faced any like misconception just like living in Japan as an international couple? Just one thing, last month we went to Leon's school. That was school day to see oh. parents see the right, right, rest. Right. Jenny and me went to school, then many kids come to us, ask <laughs> questions <laughs> like that. But no offense right. at all, mm. just uh, they are curious. They're curious because they don't see that many foreigners here mm. in like this part of Japan. Do you think it's easier to raise kids back in Malawi or in Japan? And like, do you have any worries raising kids here mm -hmm. in Japan? There is uh, both benefit Japan and uh, Malawi. Right. In Malawi, in my impression, children are raised by any adult, any neighbors, mm -hmm. any people in the community. And that's a benefit in Malawi. On the other hand, the benefit in Japan is security mm -hmm. and safe, like uh, financially right. stable. Uh, we can find a job anytime right. uh, if we don't choose. That's the benefit in Japan. Okay. Did you have like any worries going to like let's say like Japanese school because like even like my mm. parents mm. was kind of worried. Of course the raising kids in Japan mixed kids mm. or, is the most my concern because mm. first of all I have responsibility to support him. Currently two months he goes to Japanese public school mm. Mm. and sometimes he deep down because mm. of friend fight. Uh, there are many kids who support me. Okay. But some are uh, only a few. Right. So he sometimes get fight. So far, it's okay. okay. Right? <laughs> so far, it's okay? <laughs> no. uh, at first, I was concerned about, you know, in Malawi, I have a lot of relatives. Right. They could help me raise the kids, especially mm. George. Mm. So I was concerned about that. But when I came here, my thoughts were totally different uh, from what I thought. Koga's family uh, is so helpful. I can go to school, language school, and they help me uh, raising George. So I guess the supportive system is a bit different from Malawi mm. and Japan. Everyone's supporting each other back yes. in Malawi and yes. in Japan, it's not as much. Mm. George is trying to break my hand. <laughs> <laughs> So like, do you have any advice for a couple that's going through international marriage? The things I want to say is, in, in this globalization, the world, the people you like the best is the, the person you get married. I don't want you to regret. Mm. <laughs> right. So I just follow my, my mind. Mm. Just I love Jenny, so I decided to go to Malawi. I never regret. Yeah, I, I'm very happy now. We have family, Rio, Junji. <laughs> My advice is kind of same. Okay. Marriage is uh, mostly between two people. I think it's best to do what you like because mm. you're going to stay with that person for the rest of your life. It's better to follow your heart. Right, and trust yeah. your instinct and your Yeah, mind. trust your instinct. Thank you guys so much for being in my video and make sure to check out their channel. I was also in one of their videos, so mm. thank you so much, Elian, for being in my video. I yes. think that's the same as. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Bye. Bye. <laughs>